Now at 6, local, state, and federal officials come together under one roof today in Miami-Dade County for a think tank of sorts. The goal, the safety of our children. From the mayor of Miami to a member of Congress, the school superintendent, and local police chiefs, it was a who's who of people who can make things happen. CBS 4's O'Reilly Ortega is live for us outside police headquarters in the city of Miami with what they talked about and, more importantly, what they accomplished. O'Reilly. Elliot, the group discussed a number of topics during this meeting to address gun violence, including how it affects children and their families, funding programs to curb gun violence, and much more. State, local, and federal authorities came together at City of Miami Police to speak about the gun violence that's plaguing our community, particularly victimizing young people, and ways to address it. We talked at length about a variety of different things, increasing funding for technological devices, um, increasing funding and helping to identify children earlier and through the 5000 role model program. I mean, we talked about cameras outside of schools. On hand for the meeting, City of Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, Miami-Dade County State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle, and Miami-Dade Police Director Juan Perez, among others. What we want to be able to do is get up here at some point in the future and uh, God willing say there are no more murders in our community. There is no more gun violence. And that's how we can measure that we really, really have succeeded in what our goal is. The meeting, largely organized by Congresswoman Frederica Wilson, focused on a plethora of topics. The group discussed how the federal government can help fund or help deal with the issue of gun violence. They also spoke about threats on social media. We talked about Facebook. We talked about social media and how it affects children. We talked about how we're going to work on putting out a substation in the projects and a substation right outside of the projects. Miami-Dade Public School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho said although the majority of incidents that impact the youth happens outside of school, it's important to protect schools and their perimeters. Federal funding uh, that would provide for additional law enforcement support in and around schools, federal investment in advanced technologies that would allow for the monitoring of schools and the perimeter of schools, not just during school hours. Mayor Suarez says these types of meetings are something that they should hold on a regular basis. He says the next step in the process is to develop very specific funding requests. Live in downtown Miami, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News.